In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on July 6, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. New York Mets vs. Cincinnati Reds The New York Mets take on the Cincinnati Reds in the rubber match of a three-game series on Wednesday night. After the Mets captured the opener on Monday, the Reds scratched out a 1-0 walk-off win on Tuesday behind 4.2 shutout innings from Nick Lodolo and strong work from the Cincy bullpen. Despite the loss, the Mets remain in first in the National League East with a 2.5 game edge on Atlanta. The Reds remain in the National League Central Cellar. David Peterson will be on the hill for New York. He will take on Graham Ashcroft. The Mets are 3-14 in their last 17 Wednesday games and 23-6 in their last 29 games following a loss. The Reds are 2-11 in their last 13 home games and 5-13 in their last 18 overall. The over is 6-2-2 in Mets' last 10 road games. The over is 5-2 in Reds' last 7 home games. The Mets are 18-8 in the last 26 meetings in Cincinnati and 34-15 in the last 49 meetings. The Reds pulled off an improbable upset on Tuesday night weathering a dominant Max Scherzer performance and stealing a win in the bottom of the ninth. Don't expect this suspect Cincinnati pitching staff to pull off a similar feat on Wednesday. The Mets rank in the top five in runs scored and team batting average. Look for them to jump on the young Graham Ashcroft who is reeling, coming off the worst start of his short career. The Mets have been solid on the road all season going 24-18 while the Reds have floundered wherever they have played with a 14-26 home mark. New York has dominated the head-to-head -head meetings in recent years going 34-15 in their last 49 meetings, at just 5-13 in their last 18 and with the worst record in the National League the Reds are a must fade here. David Peterson has been at his best on the road, where he has a 2.17 ER and .180 allowed batting average. Graham Ashcraft has had his issues all year, and he's allowed 37 hits and 20 runs in his last 33 innings. The New York Mets are due for a bounce-back performance, while the Reds are hard to back with confidence given their constant issues. So the New York Mets' money line is our full-game side pick. These teams combined for just one run on Tuesday night, but that can be chalked up to the brilliance of Max Scherzer and an off night from New York's potent offense. Look for the Mets to bounce back in a big way on Wednesday against a Red staff conceding over 5.75 runs per contest. The Mets have fared well against righties of late, especially on the road, with the over 4-0-1 in their last five versus RHP. Expect a big effort from the likes of Starling Mart, Francisco Lindor, and Pete Alonso. David Patterson has been impressive, but the Reds' offense is capable of tacking on a few runs toward this total as well. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Texas Rangers vs. Baltimore Orioles The Texas Rangers wrap up their three-game series in Baltimore on Wednesday night against the Orioles. The Rangers have slipped into third place in the American League West and are now looking up at Seattle and front-running Houston. The Orioles remain in last place in the American League East but with the best record of any of the last-place division teams. On Wednesday night, the pitching matchup will be right-hander Glenn Otto of the Rangers squaring off against fellow righty Spencer Watkins of the Orioles. Texas is 1-5 in their last six games and 6-20 in their last 26 Wednesday games. The under is 4-1-1 in Texas' last six Wednesday games. Baltimore is 6-2 in their last eight home games and 17-48 in their last 65 Wednesday games. The under is 11-4 in Baltimore's last 15 games. The over is 7-2 in these two teams' last nine head-to-head -head meetings in Baltimore. Baltimore. The first two games in this series have been high scoring and very entertaining. Both of these pitchers come into this game with an elevated ER and we should see plenty of runs once again. Glenn Otto has allowed 10 runs over his last six innings of work for the Rangers. For the Orioles, Spencer Watkins has pitched better in recent outings and has allowed one earned run over his last 11 innings. Texas has struggled on the road losing 106 of the last 157 away from Arlington and of recent. The Rangers have lost four out of the last five overall. Baltimore has played well at home winning five of its last seven, including the first game of this series. Glenn Otto has been roughed up in each of the last two starts for Texas, 
allowing 10 hits and 10 runs in only six innings pitched, and the Rangers lost to Washington and the New York Mets. Baltimore starting pitcher Spencer Watkins has allowed only eight hits and two runs over the last 11 innings pitched. Baltimore has lowered its team ER to 4.01 and faces a Rangers lineup averaging .238 at the plate, which is just 19. So the Baltimore Orioles money line is our full game side pick. The Orioles are 6-4 in their last 10 home games and are allowing just 3.3 runs per game in those 10 games. In addition, the Orioles themselves are scoring just over 4 runs per game during that stretch and hitting under .230 at home. For the Rangers, they have played to the under in 3 of their last 5 road games this season. Two out of Otto's last 3 starts have played to the under as well. Expect a tightly fought game that will play under the total in the series finale. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Washington Nationals vs. Philadelphia Phillies The Washington Nationals remain in Philadelphia to play the Phillies today. Washington is coming off being swept over four games against the Miami Marlins and prior to that earned a series win over the Pittsburgh Pirates. Philadelphia, meanwhile, earned a series win over the St. Louis Cardinals last time out. Washington is 0-5 in their last five Wednesday games and 15-57 in their last 72 games against the National League East. The under is 9-4 in Washington's last 13 games. Philadelphia is 22-9 in their last 31 games and 12-5 in their last 17 home games. The under is 4-1 in Philadelphia's last five game twos of a series. The over 12-2 in these two teams' last 14 head-to-head -head meetings. Philadelphia is starting Aaron Nola, who was excellent against Washington earlier this year, and I expect another solid performance from him. The righty has helped anchor the Phillies' pitching staff, and although Bryce Harper is injured and the bats aren't as hot as any expected. They should be able to take advantage of the Nationals. Gray is a solid starter and will likely help quiet Philadelphia's bats and minimize the runs, but when he turns it over to the bullpen that is when the runs will start to come in. The Washington Nationals continue to be fade material as they've been terrible all week long and Josiah Gray is fresh off a start where he allowed 10 hits and 6 runs in 5.2 innings. Aaron Nola has allowed 34 hits and 12 runs in his last 43 innings and he's holding current Nationals to a .174 batting average with 39 strikeouts and 124 at-bats. All in all, Philadelphia is better at home and is starting the better pitcher and has the better lineup, so the Philadelphia Phillies' money line is our full-game side pick. Washington entered Tuesday's game with the over holding a 40-39-3 advantage in regard to the total this season. The Nationals are tied for 25th in the majors with an average of 3.99 runs per contest, though they are 18th on the road as they put up 4.32 runs per game as the visitors. Washington has seen an average total of 9.42 runs per game and that number climbs to an average of 9.89 runs per game on the road. Philadelphia comes into Tuesday's action having seen the over post of 43-34-3 mark this season. The Phillies are third in runs per game this season as they average 4.81 runs a contest. Philadelphia puts up 4.57 runs per game at home and has seen an average total of 9.06 runs per game entering Tuesday. That number drops to 8.55 runs per game at Citizen Bank Park. Nola turns in another stellar effort and that keeps a low scoring one. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.